<laughs> if you could have seen how many minutes I was standing here like this going. Anyway, how's it going, people? Happy post-Thanksgiving Day. I'm so, um, it's, I've been out of it. MIA, as many of you have pointed out. Um, I'm trying to remember who wrote me on Twitter last night that was like, hey, I just went to check out some of your videos, and there weren't any. And I think the last one I went push live was, God, I don't even know. Anyway, you poor, poor ch children. <laughs> your daily dose of um, self-hypnosis that will put you to sleep, meaning my vlogs. Why is my, I feel like the camera lens is all, does it look cloudy? I'm not trying to airbrush myself. Ooh, look, do you see there's glare in the refrigerator? Maybe I should stand there. Maybe that's what it is. Um, anyway, how's it going, guys? I, um, gosh, I have so much to catch up with you on. Wow, that glare is going to be annoying. It's because it's morning and there's a uh, light glaring in the kitchen. I wonder if I should shut the, uh... no, let's just go with it. I'll try to keep my head still. Very hard for somebody might like me to talk like this instead of being like, blah, blah, blah. Well, you're going to have to get over it. First time I'm trying this, this is, well, I guess it's just a slight variation, but that's also what I'm going to point out to you. So first of all, my favorite cup, one of my favorite cups, you know, I'm a cupaholic um, from Lake Tahoe. But the only thing that's in here is hot water. No, I'm not quitting coffee. Um, hot water, lemon, and some of these ugly stepchildren. But someone might have to tell me. Okay, so I'm supposed to put fresh ginger, this is ginger, in basically to have every morning. You're supposed to have a cup. I'll tell you why in a second. Um, I'm not like on a special diet. I know it sounds funny, but um, this one woman that has a, a cool system, which I'll get to in a minute why I like her, she suggests putting, starting off your day with water with lemon and fresh ginger. And when I put something up on Instagram about, I kind of was holding one of these up and I said, can anybody tell what these ugly stepchildren are? I mean, they're really ugly looking. I could have nightmares about things like this. Um, everybody was chiming in going, oh my God, you know, I can't imagine not having ginger in my, in my diet. And I was like, um, count me stupid because I have not been putting ginger in my diet. I would never, ever, ever want to order a ginger ale. Um, but I just don't know. I just sliced off a piece and put it in there. I don't know if you're supposed to like mince it or I'm gonna have to find out. So if any of you guys have any ideas, let me know. But the, uh, oh, here's the calculator I wanted. Sorry, hold on. Uh, hold on, I'll take this out later. I have to learn in my life. Not everything has to be done right away. Anyway, um, last night I took, I printed out this thing, which is a, okay, here's the deal. I guess you could call this a diet, but it's really the reason that I, I discovered this woman. Her name is Betty Rocker. You can go to her website, thebettyrocker.com, just spelled regular, Bet, Betty and then um, R-O-C-K-E-R.com. Um, stumbled on her, I think... On, maybe on the plane on the way down to Orlando for the Disney thing. But anyway, um, she's a, a great, I mean, obviously a great personality. She's lost weight, is in shape, blah, blah, blah. She doesn't, what she offers more, and, and again, I've just, I haven't really taken the time to read her blog as much, but she's got some great stuff up there. Um, but she had offered this body fuel program, which the reason it appealed to me is the, the types of food that are on it are really what I've been eating, but you guys know the number one thing I've complained about is my food prep, you know, and it's, it's more so that I don't have time. I, I'm, I'm getting bored. I've been getting bored with eating the same salad all the time. Never bored with my breakfast. It's not that I want to eat bad food. What happens with me is work gets me so busy um, and then when I do rush to either yes order Peapod or when I do rush to order excuse me go to the grocery store I tend to keep buying the same things and I buy the same staples right 
that I think I want and then inevitably I get home and I go to make my salad and you know my tomatoes have spoiled or I forgot to buy feta cheese or I don't have peppers and then I have a salad with like three things in it and I don't like it or I have nothing for, for dinner you know or I'll have stuff that's frozen for dinner right so I'll come out here to eat and I have nothing that I could make right then without going through this massive oh I have to thaw some salmon and it's not ready and I don't have any lemon and so my thing has been <laughs> in lieu of being able to get uh, someone to live in my home and, and be my personal chef at this point um, I was really hitting a brick wall with kind of needing some guidance or something with food prep and I look at people that did food prep on Sunday and be like that's great <laughs> I still don't know I still run into the same problem my problem is I go and I buy ground turkey, I buy chicken breasts, I buy you know what I think is ready, and then I go to food prep and I'm like, what am I making with this? And then I'll either be out of stuff, or you know I'll look at grilled chicken, I'll look at chicken breasts, and I'm like, I am not. I know this. If I just make grilled chicken, um, I I've done it for so many years that I'll look at it in my refrigerator, and you know I was, I was getting to the point where I was pre-making a bunch of stuff, but I would pre-make only the stuff I was used to. Like I'd pre-make a bunch of tilapia, I'd pre-make chicken breast, and then I never wanted the chicken breast because that's all I had in there was chicken breast. And I'm like, <sighs> so her whole, I put it in this nice folio of mine, body fuel system. Granted, it is on the pre premise <clears throat> of you know, kind of cleaning yourself up, not necessarily a detox, but it's the premise of it says how to effortlessly lose fat and become healthy in 30 days, you know, and then she's, this is her style of eating. But anyway, for me, what appealed to me is you buy her, her system and she tells you, hold on, let me show you. She tells you, and hey, you might say, Kelly, you can go out and do this yourself. No, I can't. Um, and so this is why this is perfect for me because what I just told you was happening repeatedly. I was constantly going, just not shopping smart, not having the food in my house, not prepping because I didn't like what I was having. And then I was getting to the point where I was really getting back to a bad place before I left for Orlando three or four weeks ago. And I have no food in the house because I just got kind of annoyed and, and depressed about it. And so I was ordering, you know, Jimmy John's for um, lunch. I wasn't ordering anything really bad, but I'd order, you know, like a big veggie sandwich, which is bread. My body doesn't do as well when I have bread or anything, you know, fake of that nature. Um, tend to not have a problem with stuff like this. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, but. Anyway, so I would, I would order Jimmy John's, but then there were some times where I'd have my breakfast and I'd start off the day right, and I've told you guys this before, I, I was getting so swamped with work, there was a lot, 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 I can't stress that enough, a lot going on with the business the past two or three months, that it's just, there's just been a whole bunch converging in my world, so, you know, business, massive business stuff, lot of pressure on me there, uh, just a lot, a lot of kind of family dynamic, weird, you know, drama, maybe if you will um, then me needing to travel and then the Achilles situation and me kind of being in a you know working out to a new beat if you will and then you know missing my old stuff being bummed about that definitely missed yoga during that time um, but I was following the directions of, of you know Mike and Joe and, and then Mark and you know they were so adamant about don't do this just follow a program and that was for my own good but there was just a lot of stuff kind of going on and I was kind of just getting down like really down about stuff and I had a bad attitude and I wasn't shopping because I was just tired I was tired of going to the grocery store and buying stuff and then either not utilizing it or just looking at my refrigerator every morning going oh, that salad's gonna suck you know there were a couple times I remember before I left and I didn't want to buy groceries because I was getting ready to leave on a Wednesday, I think. And I went to make my salad, and both times I made my salad, it just tasted funny. And I didn't know if like my feta was bad or the lettuce was bad because again, I'd been on a lot of trips and I was coming back and using lettuce that I had before. So I'd be, you know, I ended up like pitching this huge salad in the sink. Then I felt wasteful and you know all that stuff. But anyway, so this Betty Rocker system, the cool thing is she basically takes 
four weeks for you. And I mean, obviously, then you can you know use this as you go, but it's kind of to train you, I guess, in um, food prep and whatever. I've always looked to people to do food prep on Sunday, and I'm like, yeah, whenever I do food prep on Sunday, I'm an idiot. I make like two or three things, and then you know I'm like, did I food prep? You know, I think the only thing I've been really good about is that when I first started training early this year, I would always make like turkey meatloaf. Turkey meatloaf's easy for me to make, you know. But I would always make turkey meatloaf and tilapia and baked potatoes or sweet potatoes, whatever. But anyway, so she has this, can you see? Um, food prep in a flash. She tells you the tools that you're going to need. Oh, hold on. Your week one groceries. Yeah, this is it. So it's weird to see it in this. She tells you exactly what fruits and vegetables. Hold on. Fruits and vegetables, meats and protein, grains and nuts. Exactly. So in other words, if you buy the exact stuff I'm telling you, like in other words, she'll say, you know, just pantry items, but meats and proteins, two pounds of boneless chicken breast, one package turkey bacon, two cans of albacore tuna, two, two thirds to a pound salmon filet. She wants two servings of salmon, one bag of frozen shrimp, one dozen eggs, um, one carton egg whites. So some of these, like two cans of tuna, if you were going to Costco or, or something, you could obviously get a big container and then uh, or that has like six or eight, right? And you could use that going forward. But she's like, this week, this is what you'll need. And she has everything in here so that then, then she's shown you your week one recipes. Week one has a chai green smoothie, Avenger green smoothies, daily green salad, uh, vegetables. Um, she has a pesto, steamed asparagus, quinoa, um, sesame hemp turkey bites, fire roasted tomato turkey soup with the blender which is why I'm anxiously awaiting my blend tech to arrive. Um, tuna avocado salad, baked pesto salmon. So in other words, she, she gives you all the recipes for one week, the food list for one week, you know, and you could either, I'm guessing, you know, she does it week by week by week, but you know, if you really wanted to do it, you could, whatever. Um, then she has, you know, your daily meals. And you can obviously mix and match them. But it's more so like this is the kind of healthy day you should be doing. Can you see this? So like day one, breakfast salad, scrambled eggs, mixed greens, uh, Ezekiel type bread. Oh, you put pesto on the bread. That's interesting. Then there's, so five, she has about five meals every day. Um, what's interesting is it looks like it'll like have one day has two smoothies. The next day, one smoothie and a snack. Um, interesting how it's balanced out it's not one of those I mean to me what appealed more is this is the kind of food that I like I like it but it's not turkey meatloaf and a baked potato you, you know what I'm saying it's not like the the very boring how I'm 13 minutes in when you cook that way it can get really old not that I don't enjoy it but I kind of like the idea of having fire roasted tomato and turkey soup Here's a thing, no bake, nut butter, cacao, chip protein bars, roasted squash, oh, this is coming out. Hold on one second. Um, you see what I'm saying? So, and then she even tells you, so then you can order a video, so, sh damn it! Some of these came out of the holes, and because I'm OCD, I have to fix it right now. Um, one second, I'm almost done. This is very upsetting. Um, she even tells you like when you go to do food prep there's this place in here where she's like put this in the oven or put this in the um hold on i'm seeing it it's in here somewhere but with the food prep she's like put your turkey in the in the stove top by the time you finish this then put the quinoa here divide this you know she has your your your, your smoothie prep is that my phone She's, she's like, you know, chop up your, your kale for this, put it in the baggies for this, which means I need to not only, I'm out of garbage bags, but I need to get um, freezer bags and baggies. And, and then, of course, I've got my, you know, containers here of all sizes. But um, I'm that's why I was really excited about this, because I think this is really going to help me get into... Um, some new recipes. I, I needed some recipes for salads and for dinners and stuff. My desire is not to eat bad food. I eat bad food when I get frustrated and when I um, 
I let work overwhelm me and then you know, I don't plan. And I'm not a good planner, I need ideas. I need somebody to kind of go, you know, just what this is gonna do for me. So I'm very excited about this. And that's, she's the one that says, start your day off. Uh, honestly, I can't taste the ginger. Remember when I came back from the Tony Robbins thing and I just did water with lemon? So that's what it tastes like to me. But apparently ginger has a lot of qualities um, in it that are good. So um, I'm going to talk more in my next, I love Hans and Christmas, in my next um, video about some other stuff because I'm already at 15 minutes. So let's leave it at that. Let's leave it at a preview with what's going on with the food. But I am very excited about it because um, suffice it to say that um, the past couple of months of travel, and I was just not feeling like I was, you know, on it. I was following Mark's program, and I think that was a big part of it. Like, I was feeling so great doing his program and excited about it. Then on the other hand, I was very much missing yoga, and, and, and I told him this, is you know, really looking forward to being able to run again. So there was those things in my mind, a lot of craziness with work, and then travel, and yet my food was taken a back seat. My food was taken a back seat because of many factors, but when my food takes a back seat, I just don't feel good. Um, you know, yesterday was Thanksgiving, and I didn't pig out, but I did have a big piece of cake, chocolate cake with white icing is my thing, and I think it was more that than really anything else, because I just had a little bit of mashed potatoes, and I mean, I do not pig out on Thanksgiving anymore, but I feel more like I had a couple cookies and um, the cake at the end of the night, and I just, I got home, and I was like, I just feel gross. My stomach was bloated. I was like, like I couldn't wait to get up today and work out, which means it's late. I've been babbling on. Um, I'm going to shake this up and get moving. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I'm sorry that it's been so long, but I will update you on everything else too. On the workouts, on running, on yoga, on eating, on um, my goals, on um, what's working, what's not working, what I've learned, what my plans are, yada, yada, yada. Go back to sleep. You know what I'm saying. Now, of course, I can't press my button and make this stop, so I might actually have to.